Four truths about Satan that many people don't know. 1. Satan is an enemy and an evil being. Jesus shared four important truths about Satan that many people might not clearly recognize. First, he called Satan the enemy and the evil one. In the parable of the weeds, recorded in Matthew 13, 24, 30, Jesus told a story about a farmer who planted good seeds in his field. However, at night, when the workers were asleep, the enemy sneaked in and planted weeds among the wheat. As the wheat began to grow and produce grain, the weeds grew as well, mixing in with the wheat and making the field look confused and messy. The farmer's servants came to him and asked, Sir, didn't you plant good seeds in your field? Why then are there weeds growing? The farmer replied, An enemy did this. When the servants asked if they should pull out the weeds, the farmer advised them to let both the wheat and the weeds grow together until harvest time. When the harvest comes, the reapers will gather the weeds, tie them into bundles and burn them, while the wheat will be gathered into the barn. Later, when the disciples asked Jesus about the meaning of this parable, he explained that the Son of Man is the one who sows the good seed, the field is the world, and the good seed represents the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows the weeds is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Through this parable, Jesus not only illustrated the presence of Satan in the world, but also emphasized his role as the enemy of God, who constantly seeks to destroy God's plans and lead people astray. An enemy, as defined by Jesus, is not just someone who opposes, but someone who hates and tries to harm others. In this role, Satan continually works against God and his purposes in this world. 2. Satan is the prince of this world. Jesus not only called Satan an enemy, but also emphasized that he is the prince of this world. When predicting his own death, Jesus said, Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the prince of this world will be driven out. John 12:31. He knew that the world was about to crucify the Lord of life and glory, and by doing so, the world would be condemning itself. The judgment was about to be passed on all sinful humanity, and the ruler of this world, Satan, would be completely defeated at Calvary. Satan once thought he could get rid of Jesus forever, but in reality, Jesus turned his death into the ultimate victory opening the way to salvation for humanity and simultaneously defeating Satan and all his forces. Although Satan's sentence has not yet been fully executed, his fate is already determined. He continues to carry out evil deeds in the world, but it's only a matter of time before he is thrown into the lake of fire where his final destiny will be completed. As Jesus realized that the time of his betrayal was near, and that he didn't have much time left to speak with his disciples. He acknowledged that Satan was approaching, but he also knew that the enemy could find no trace of sin in him. There was nothing in Jesus that could respond to the devil's evil temptations. This highlights that Jesus was completely pure and unaffected by any sin, something that no one else can claim. Jesus said, I will not speak with you much longer, for the prince of this world is coming. He has no power over me. John 14.30 Satan rules over a world where humans and angels have separated themselves from God. This world includes false religions, harmful ideologies, and things that threaten God's true children. Jesus warns us not to love the world or the things of the world, because love for the world will draw us away from the love of the Father. Everything that belongs to the world, the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eyes, and the pride in what we have and do does not come from the Father, but from the world, which is under Satan's control. However, this world and its desires will pass away, 
but whoever does the will of God will live forever. 3. Satan wants to test the faith of believers. Satan is not only the enemy and the prince of this world, but he also constantly seeks to test the faith of believers. One of the most notable examples is the life of Peter, who faced a significant challenge when Satan targeted him. Peter, a strong and fearless fisherman, was attacked by Satan in an attempt to shake his faith. At the Last Supper, Jesus warned Peter that a test of faith was approaching. Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you as wheat. Luke 22:31. Jesus knew that Satan wanted to test the faith of all the disciples, not just Peter. This gives us a glimpse into the unseen world, where Satan is always trying to attack and test the faith of those who believe in God. This testing is not just a direct attack on personal faith, but also an attempt to weaken the unity and loyalty of the entire community of believers. Satan knows that if he can shake the faith of someone like Peter, the future leader of the church, he can have a significant impact on the entire Christian community. However, Jesus did not leave Peter to face this trial alone. He said, But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail, and when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. Luke 22:32. This shows that although tests and challenges are inevitable, with Jesus' support, faith can be strengthened and become even stronger after facing difficulties. For Jesus is always present to support and protect believers. Finally, Jesus assures us that he is always present to support and protect his believers. He doesn't promise to remove every challenge from our lives, but he guarantees that our faith will not be shaken if we trust in him. In the life of every Christian, trials are inevitable. God uses these experiences to shape our character, strengthen our faith, and help us become more like Jesus. Jesus told Peter that although he would face weakness and failure, he would eventually recover and become a source of strength for the other disciples. This emphasizes that in any trial, we can trust that Jesus is always by our side, protecting and supporting us. He is not only our Savior, but also our Advocate, the one who intercedes for us. When Satan tries to shake our faith, we can be confident that Jesus will always protect us and help us stand firm. Throughout the Bible, we are reminded of Jesus' intercession for us. He not only prayed for Peter, but also for all of his believers. In John 17, 9 to 11, Jesus says, I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and glory has come to me through them. And in John 17, 15, Jesus prays, My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. This confirms that Jesus will protect us so that Satan cannot destroy our faith and hope. Jesus not only protects our faith, but also ensures that he will complete the good work he has begun in us. As Philippians 1.6 emphasizes, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. We all go through difficult times, moments when our faith is tested and we may feel like we have failed. However, Jesus tells us that failure is not the end, but rather an opportunity to start anew with renewed strength from Him. When we face the ups and downs of life, we need encouragement and the assurance that Jesus is always by our side, helping us overcome every challenge. He doesn't stand at a distance, waiting to see if we are strong enough to persevere in faith. Instead, he is always there, praying for us and ensuring that we hold on to our faith until the end. God has given Satan the power to test us, but he also sets limits, and with Jesus' help, we will not be destroyed. The passage in 1 Peter 1, 3-5 reminds us of the living hope we have through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and that we are protected by God's power through faith. 
to receive the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. We can be confident that no one can snatch us out of God's hand, because He and the Father are one in essence and power. Our joy in God's promises is always multiplied when we share it with others, just as Peter did after he restored his faith. We all know that the journey of following the Lord is not easy, and sometimes our faith is tested. The lessons from the Bible, like the truths about Satan that Jesus shared, remind us that God is always present to protect and guide us through every challenge. If you find this content helpful and meaningful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future messages. Together, we can spread God's word, strengthen our faith, and support each other on the path of following Him. Thank you for being with us. God is always with you, guiding you every step of the way.